Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we will be covering the expression rule part, right? That is the very important part in Appian because expression is the object which we will be using everywhere, right? It's not that the expression we, we just, we don't have to only understand the expression rule. We also have to understand that how we can use expression rule and where we can use expression rule. So whenever I, I'll say you the rule, it means expression rule only. And whenever I will open the expression editor, it means we can write the rule there, right? Or we can call any type of expression rule in that expression editor. So let's get started. And um, I just need to click on this new button and then I can click on this expression rule. So if any of you is uh, having some technical background or you are having any background related to any programming languages like C and Java. So it's like it's similar to functions, right? Whenever we create functions, we can use that functions anywhere. We can call them, uh, we can pass parameters in them and we can use it. And um, anyone who is not having any background related to any programming language, that then also it is fine. It's like uh, we are creating an expression rule and uh, we will be using it anywhere. Whenever, for example, we are doing a sum, so we can create an expression rule for sum. And then we can use that expression rule uh, to do a sum and we can pass parameters like numbers. So we'll see that in later videos. Let's uh, understand the expression rule first. And uh, this is my first expression rule. And we have two options. You can see I can create from scratch or I can duplicate the existing one, right? So whenever we are creating any of the objects, there are different ways to create it, right? It depends on our requirement, right? We need to understand what is my requirement? Is there something new which we want? Or if like something is already built, I just need to do some little modifications and I can reuse it, right? So we can save time. But right now I just wanted to use this new one. I can, uh, let's say test expression, right? And I can write the description. Description is also very important. We will never forget this. Expression. And now comes the part of folders, right? So whenever we need to create some object, then we need to save that objects in some folder. A rule object I'm talking about, right? There are different objects. For example, group is an object, but we cannot store groups in any folder. So there are, uh, three things which we can store in a folder or three types of folder we have first is rule folder and uh, the document folder and the process model folders we have three folders and we can store different different objects in these folders right for example we can store interfaces expression rule inside a rule folder and various other things and process model we can store inside the process model folder and documents we can store inside the document folder right so i can create directly a rule folder from here itself or i can go and click on this new i will use this option and what folder i'm creating i'm creating a rule folder because i need to save my expression rule so i'll name this as fa rule or we can say fa rules that's all we can mention this and a rule folder And the parent folder is nothing i can directly create it so you can see i have created one folder and also i have created one expression rule so this is what we need to do and i will jump into the expression rule now so this is my empty expression and um, you can see that uh, we have different different panels we have right hand side panels which is used for testing we have ad hoc test cases we can also save test cases and use them and rerun them right so these two options we have and currently there is nothing there is no code so that's why nothing is coming this is my coding area where i can put my code and the syntax i can indent that i can format that and uh, i can comment it or different features are there so we'll see that and in the bottom you can see this section Whenever I will use, I'll be using any of the system functions, then I can see the description of that function, the help text we can say, right? So let's say if I will be using this functions, which is called now. So now is a function which will return me the current date and time, right? So you can see I have written this function. And if I click inside this function, then you can see the description now. 
returns the current date time as a serial number and the return type is date and time this is also very important whenever we are using any function or we are handling any kind of data it's always important to see the return type right and how to test this function how this will work i just need to click on i will go back inside the ad hoc and i will click on test rule so you can see i'm getting the current date and time right and uh, after doing this for example my coding is done and my testing is also done i can save it right this is how i can save it and whenever i'm saving any of the object or this expression rule it will create a new version of that rule and let's say i am again formatting this and i will save it again it will again create a new version and how i can see the versions i will go inside the settings and version it will take me to the version control system and we can compare it with the latest and we can see any of the versions we can delete the version we can do whatever we want with these versions and uh, after these options like formatting indent we have comment we can search the uh, the coding area we can replace some text or uh, we can see the domains so these are all domains in appian first is a bank and cons bank which is used to access the constants portal bank to access the portals record type bank to access the record types rule bank to access all the rules you can see all these things are called rules the decisions expression rule interfaces and integrations and type bank is used to access the data types which is custom data type or appian data type so all these domains we have in this in this tab we have all the functions either it, it is coming from the uh, plugins or which is already there in appian right provided by appian cloud so all these functions are there and there is a lot of functions a bunch you can see uh, we have different different types of functions we will explore that later on and uh, we have other options also like we can also directly view icons from here this this feature was not there previously but this is very helpful because we don't have to go in the documentation again and again to check the icons and we can um, directly create a constant from here inside the expression rule because whenever uh, we are working on an expression rule uh, we need to, to use a constant then we need to go back into the designer and then to create one so right now we can use directly this option and we can save this expression save as and this is the query editor it it has two options the record query and the query entity we'll dis discover that later on and uh, this is my expression rule this is how we need to work in this so that's all in this lecture